The sleight of hand has many obvious applications as a CV keyboard, but there are also different ways that it can be patched creatively as a CV controller to open up your performance in patches. One of which is using the much loved multi-tool of the Eurorack world known as the Disting Mark IV. You can also use the Disting EX. A personal favorite of mine is using it as a performance loop controller. Let's patch up. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is on our disting, we want to set it to algorithm I2, that is the clocked audio playback. And we want to make sure that our folder is already loaded in that has all of our loops in it that we're going to be uh, controlling with the sleight of hand. From a clock source standpoint, I'm going to use the UOC today running Hemisphere Suite. Uh, I have, you know, two different apps running. Both of them are triggers basically acting as different clocks. Just to give us something to sync into, I've got a Bacillus Ceteritas Alter off the screen. Screen, just running a kick and I'm just gonna run four to the floor uh, four, four on the floor for that one and then the next trigger is gonna be our clock so we want to run from B uh, out of UOC into X or sorry Y I should say which is our clock uh, clock input on the disting C is just running uh, every 16 notes so basically every bar it's gonna run a reset just to keep us in sync so we're gonna run C from that into X because X is reset on the uh, on the disting so then what we want to do is put our outputs of the disting just going into our audio outs because obviously we need audio and then the final last but not least we want to control the samples that are running and the loops that are running with our uh, sleight of hand so all we need to do is run out from the cv into the z input on the disting we're all set we're all patched let's see what we got really all there is to it. Uh, sleight of hand puts you in control of what loops you're triggering in a live situation with your disto. Um, not difficult to patch, easy, doesn't take up much HP. Uh, and there's even some variations you may, once you get it up and running, you may want to play with manually triggering uh, the loops so you can put together some break beats. Just run it, run the, the re-trigger out of the trig on the sleight of hand and then you can take over when you're triggering the loops. Every time you hit a key and swap it, it'll reach out and play it from the beginning. So hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll do more of these in the future and um, enjoy patching. <laughs>